The Department of Labor reported lower unemployment numbers than expected this morning, but still 684,000 Americans filing new claims last week. Here in Arizona, that number is at about 4,400. And despite that, there are parts of the economy that are seeing recovery, and some are even seeing job growth. Three on your side, Susan Campbell is here to explain. Susan? Yeah, Tess and Scott, so far Arizona has recovered many of the jobs lost since the pandemic started, and there are several companies making major investments in the area and hiring thousands of people. Two men in a truck is so busy, they've had to turn down jobs. And their typical busy season doesn't even start for a couple more weeks. It is frustrating, especially because we're growing and we want to be able to service everybody. Now, because of the hot housing market, the moving company is hiring. Across Valley franchise locations, there are more than 80 open positions. Need movers, need drivers. We want someone who goes above and beyond for the customer. Um, you know, pays attention to all the little details. So does Carvana. The Tempe based online used car dealer has about 450 customer service jobs to fill. We are extremely busy right now. At the beginning of the pandemic, the company had to reduce employees hours for a short period of time, but they never had to make any layoffs and now they're growing. More and more consumers are embracing the new and safer way to buy a car, which is entirely online, um, which means we are now looking for talent to meet this incredible demand. And then there's Amazon building in Glendale and promising a thousand new jobs and Intel unveiling a $20 billion plan to add two new facilities in Chandler with 3000 new high tech jobs and Thrift Books hiring 150 people for its new processing center in Phoenix. We are seeing a pretty drastic change in new job openings really in the last quarter. Chris Camacho is the president of the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. He says GPEC expects job growth to continue as more people get the COVID vaccine. We're hopeful that a lot of the you know, individuals that may have been laid off or furloughed during this downturn will find new, new opportunities to create uh, new career paths for themselves. In this recovery, we're gonna see, we're gonna need all kinds of job types. Camacho says that's exactly what's happening across the valley, from hourly gigs to high-paying engineering jobs. After a nationwide search, Electromechanica decided to move to Mesa and vowed to create up to 500 jobs, making a three-wheeled electric commuter vehicle. The land, the building, the workforce, and then you combine that with the logistics, the logistics to get to our target market on the West Coast, it just made it super appealing for us to be here. A bright horizon in the Valley of the Sun. GPEC says it expects Arizona to get back to pre-pandemic full employment by the end of 2021. So a lot to look forward to here.